Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my melting basket for the month of September. I'm not too big into doing melting baskets anymore, especially during like the summer months because I really love being able to just go and grab whatever I feel like warming at that moment. However, once fall hits, things definitely change for me because I have a ton of fall wax. Fall is definitely my home fragrance favorite time of the year, you know, to melt and burn. And I have some very specific scents that I want to, you know, use in September, use in October. And so what I've done is I've went through my collection, picked out kind of those more September-ish scents in my opinion, and pulled them together in this basket. I have a few candles as well. Do I have to use every single thing in here or can I go into my stash and pick out other things if I want to? Of course, but it at least kind of pulls most of my wax that I would consider to be like September appropriate to the forefront. I don't have to dig through my whole collection to look for something if I've got something on my mind and then I don't, you know, miss it and not melt it in September if I really wanted to. So hopefully I stick to this melting basket a decent amount because I would like to finish most if not everything in here, but we will just see how that goes. I want to preface, sorry about the lighting. I know it is, leaves a lot to be desired this morning, but filming lately has just been very challenging for me time-wise. And so I'm filming this at 5.20 a.m. <laughs> on a morning um, where I just have a few extra minutes and it is pitch black dark out. So I'm going with literally just the light in my room. Um, I will say as much as I love fall, I don't love, I can tell like the sun is starting to really change <laughs> already. So about 5.30, 5.45 in the morning, a month ago, it would be fairly light out, but now it is still pitch black dark. So just bear with me. This is what we got. But like I said, I do have some candles and then my basket. So let me pull my candles first and we'll go through those. Not that it matters, but this door is open for rip if that is distracting to you. But I have two single wick candles that I thought would be perfect for September. I just got these. I just hauled these from Bath and Body Works. So the first is Sunlit Mountains. And the notes on this are Apple Blossom, Mountain Sage, Sun Kissed Birch. So for me, September is anything that's apple but not spicy um maybe a sweeter apple type scent like honey pear cider those types of things apple ciders without the spices different things like that that kind of transition you from the summer fruits to the fall spices and everything but we're not in like clove <laughs> city a lot of naturey type things that's kind of what i look for for um september scents so this will be perfect for a bedroom, a bathroom, etc. And then the other one is Walk in the Forest. I have never burned either of these. This one is White Eucalyptus Mineral Sage Frozen Pine. This one really could be for the winter time too, but I thought it would be a good transitional scent as well. So I have those two single wicks and then I have two three wicks. The first being Sweater Weather. This is actually a holiday Christmas time packaging. This really can go from like September to like March for me. I love Sweater Weather. It is a great fall scent. It is a great winter scent, but I thought I would bring it out in this melting basket because I don't have a ton of September stuff and I have a ton of like October, November heavy fall stuff. So I thought I would put this one in this basket and I've already burned this some last year it looks like. So this is fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Just quintessential sweater weather. It's so good. So love that one. And then the last candle, I haven't had this candle in quite a few years, but I just picked this up again and that is autumn. This is perfect for September. This is bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. It's just this beautiful outdoorsy apple with like that eucalyptus. So there's no spice. Great transition. I love this one. Perfect to kind of get you in that fall mood. 
as well. Um, so that is that candle. So those are all my candles that I pulled for September, which is exciting just to have any because I really am not a big spring summer candle burner. So I don't think I've had a candle in an empties in quite a long time or used a candle in quite a long time. So this is the wax. I have it fairly organized here, so I'm going to try to keep it somewhat in this little basket. Semi-separated by vendor, semi-separated by size, so we'll, we'll be able to keep most of the vendors together. So I picked out three Sassy Girl Aroma Brittles that I thought would be appropriate. So the first is Oath. This might be my favorite scent from her. It is exceptional. This is basically Beach Nights mixed with roasted pine cones and smoky vanilla sugar cookie and marshmallow. So the beach nights and the pine cone to me make it a great spring or um, summer to fall transitional scent because you have the beach nights, you have the pine cone. I love this one. This is loaf worthy for sure, but thought to get through a brittle in September would be perfect. I also picked out this one. This is fall fun carnival. Sugar cookie, kettle corn, and vanilla B Noel. Just like a nice bakery still um, county fair type scent. So that, that would be a good bakery for this month. And then the other one from Sassy Girl Aroma is Radiant Leaves, which is her dupe for Radiant Red Maple from Bath & Body Works. So this is crisp red and Macintosh apple smoky notes, sweet maple, warm caramel, and an aromatic woody note. This is not my favorite. You can see I've melted a row of this. It's not my favorite. It's okay. I'm glad that I tried it because I have been really curious about Radiant Red Maple for a long time. So I am glad that I tried it, but it's one of those things I would like to just finish. And I do think September would be a good time to use that. So those are all my Sassy Girls. I then have two customs from K's that I made last like December that I thought would be perfect for this. So the first one, I was trying to make Sparkling Pear Riesling from Bath & Body Works because um, I love that scent and they hadn't brought the candle back in like a year or so. And I love Sparkling Pear Riesling for the fall time or for September. So I made from K's Fizzy Soda, Bartlett Pear and Honey Apple Champagne. It's definitely not a dupe, but it's really, really nice. And it is just like a fizzy, fruity pear and apple scent. Really good. So I've actually been saving this one for September. So it is definitely cured and ready to go. Other one is Crackling Birch Toasted Marshmallow and Fallen Leaves. Thought the Crackling Birch should be really nice for September. Just like a woodsy a woodsy um, crackling birch scent is always really good. Next from L3, I have Mac Apple Funnel Cake Caramel and Cotton Candy. I love this one. This is actually two basic Betty's, like her mini loaves, put into one bag. <laughs> it's so good. Awesome circus concessions, beautiful caramel apple. Again, I think just kind of a decent transition from summer to fall. One from Super Tarts, I have the Omen. I don't have the scent notes for the Omen, but it's like apple and like clean air, ocean breeze type, um, type notes. Really nice, just clean, fresh apple though. Yeah, this is so good. And honestly, this one's really old. And so if I can get through it this month, that's probably to the benefit of having some scent throw <laughs> to this. A couple from Rose Girls that I have left in my collection. This one is light as a feather, stiff as a board. This is like amber, leaves, sandalwood, toasted marshmallow. I thought I would really love this one and I just don't, um, I don't love it. But good for this type of year, time of year. So I'm gonna melt that one. And then I also have Campfire Marshmallow. This I put in here just kind of as a blender. I thought Campfire Marshmallow could go really well with that light as a feather stiff as a board. 
but also with my K's crackling birch toasted marshmallow falling leaves just to give it a little more of that campfire smoky gooey marshmallow because this one is just like it smells like crackling birch to me. I don't get a ton of the toasted marshmallow or fallen leaves, so I thought that could be kind of a, a good blender. I have a clamshell from Scentsy. This is Jack's Obsession, and this is like the best, just basic apple cider ever. No spices to it. It is so good. I melt this every September. It's one of my favorites for September. I have just a little sample scent shot from the Melted Moose. This is Moose Lodge, which is apple cider, caramel, maple, and warm vanilla. So just a nice apple cider. Mm, really good apple cider. I have a small scoop in Sparkling Pear Riesling from L3. So again, like I was saying, I was really excited and looking for Sparkling Pear Riesling. This came up in one of her, one of her, or her, uh, restocks and I had to grab it. Oh, it's so good. I just got the little one because I thought I, I truly only melt this in September. That's my only time. So I thought I could get through this in September and then purchase more for the next September. This is so, so good. And it smells just like the Bath and Body Works candle in my opinion. And then lastly for the rest of this is some Destination Wax breakaway bars or is that what those are called so I just pulled out the ones that again I thought were fall related but they weren't too spicy or anything so I have honey pear cider which is spiced pear cider sweetened with honey this is one that I normally would get from Scentsy every year and it smells just like Scentsy's this is exceptional I'm really excited to to try this one See if I need loaves in any of these. Plum tart, warm baked tart with a jammy rich filling of plums, oranges, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's just a nice plum. I get a little bit of the orange in it. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've heard a lot of people rave about plum tart. Wine cellar, Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, pomegranate, black cherries, pink pepper, musk, saffron, and patchouli. This says it's slightly sweeter than Bath and Body Works, but similar enough, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, just this really nice, a wine scent. I've never melted any of these um, before, so I'm excited for that. Autumn Walk, crisp autumn leaves, fresh air, forest berries, pine, cedar, and aspen. Oh, this is so good. You definitely get like this pine, some of the cedar, maybe a little bit of the berries. Oh, so nice. And then lastly is autumn. So a dupe to the candle. This, a lot of these are almost a year old. Like this one's poured September 18th of 21. So let's melt it before it hits a year. Red apples, balsam, fig, and eucalyptus, similar to Bath and Body Works. And it really, it does, it smells just like the candle. So I can have the candle going in like the kitchen, you know, living room, open concept area. And then I can have this going through like the bedrooms and the rest of the house and make everything just smell like autumn. But that is it. That is everything that I pull for my September melting basket. So I will see you guys partway through all the way through September with my empties and we'll see what I'm able to finish. Um, I, I am really hopeful to finish all of these items and then my October melting basket. That's going to be challenging um, because I have so much stuff that would fit well into like an October <laughs> a basket. October needs to be three months long and then maybe I would be able to accomplish something in my collection. But that's everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.